There we go. And what do we... Oh, he's pulling pretty hard. Easy now. We don't want to break things. What do we got here, folks? What is that? There we got them. Oh, boy. That is not what I want. I'm telling you, it has been a struggle. This time of year in southwestern Ontario, the kind of fishing that we like to do, like small body fishing, and I do a lot of ditch fishing, creek fishing, it, it is a struggle. And uh, I've been out for the past two weeks, just about every day, trying to put together a decent fishing video for you guys. And it has been tough until the last three days. So the video you're about to see took three days to make. But they started biting today. I just got done fishing. Uh, there's no crappie. Well, I shouldn't say there's no crappie. They are starting to catch crappie out of the creek. But uh, I think they're using minnows, and I didn't have minnows. But let's head down to the creek and catch some fish. We got a little bit of a bite there. Changed his mind. Oh, there we go. There's a bite. There we got him. Oh boy, that is not what I want. The dogfish. We are not interested in you, young fella, at all. All right. Let's see if we can get him unhooked here and get him released back in the water. Without me ending up in the water because I don't feel like going for a swim. That's all. There we go. And just like that, he's gone. Those are a good fighting fish. Kind of ugly, but they're good fighting fish. All right, let's carry on. That guy didn't fight as hard as they uh, usually do. Oh, I almost went for a swim. One thing we're trying to avoid is swimming. Those fish are usually pretty aggressive. He uh, was not overly aggressive. He's kind of took it and ran. Oh, we got a bite again here. Here he goes. Come on. Oh, I pulled it away from him. There we go. What do we... Pulling pretty hard, easy you now. We don't want to break things. What do we got here, folks? What is that? Oh, that would be another. That is a big dogfish. Big. He is huge. 
He is not happy. Not happy at all. All right, let's get you over here. We'll get you put back here. No. He's not impressed. All right, we'll get you out of here. Here we go. He is all marked up. They must be spawning. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Oh. Did not take him long to hit that. Wind has picked up quite a bit. Temperature's dropped. That thing just hit the water. And whatever it is, grabbed it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a large mouse. We got some white line, eight pound test line. down to the water here and grab him so he don't break my line off. Come here, buddy. There we go. All right. Well, nice little largemouth. Not what we're looking for, though. Normally, I would heave them up, but eight pound test line, it would have broke. And he hit that as soon as it hit the water. That was a good, healthy, fat fish. We are looking for crappy. It is not bass season. There's some uh, ducks over there. Here they go. I'm using a uh, quarter ounce yellow and red jig. About uh, 16 inches below the bobber. On eight pound test line. He thought he was big. Another small bass. Good to see the little ones in there too. 
Little fella. what we're looking for, but they're biting. Well, there you see it. Uh, we got some dogfish, got some bass. The bass are starting to come in there. A lot of small ones, and that's okay. I like seeing the small bass in there because that means they're populating and growing. Uh, I still haven't got the crappie yet. That's okay. It just means I got to keep going back until they're actually in there thick where I can get a pailful. But I did switch over at the end from that yellow jig to the same red quarter ounce jig. But I put a white body on it. And uh, that seemed to be the ticket. The, today they just were not interested in the yellow. But they were hitting the white and red. So hopefully it warms up, stays warm. The fish come in and we can start getting out some decent fishing videos. I thank you all for sticking with us. I appreciate you all subscribing to our channel. And we'll see you all in the next one. Later.